Hey, what's going on everyone? And we're here today in our new Antonelli baseball facility. And we're talking about being uncomfortable. Being uncomfortable means that you're making changes. And it is so vitally important to be able to be comfortable being uncomfortable. And this is one of the biggest things that I see that prevents players from making any type of changes or improvements in their game because they don't want to be uncomfortable. So anytime you want to make a change, whether it's hitting, fielding, running, doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to be baseball or softball related. If you're going to make a change to something that you do the same way all the time, it's going to feel uncomfortable. I say a lot to our players, I say, cross your arms. Okay, I cross my arms like this. Now I cross it a certain way. I put my left arm underneath my right arm. Now if I told you to switch and put your left arm over your right arm, that feels extremely uncomfortable, right? I would, I would never do that. If you told me to cross my arms, I'd cross the same way every single time. Does that mean that I cross my arms right and you, if you do it differently, cross it wrong? No. It just means that it's uncomfortable for me because I've done it one way for probably my whole entire life. It's the same thing with getting dressed. If I get dressed, I always put my right foot in before my left foot into my pants. Right? I would never, ever, ever put my left leg in first. This feels extremely uncomfortable. Does that mean that I do it right and you do it wrong if you do it with your left foot? No. It just means it's it's uncomfortable because that's not the way I do it. So it's the same thing with your swing mechanics, your fielding mechanics, your throwing mechanics. If you've done it one way for a long time, that will feel comfortable for you. That doesn't mean it's right. It doesn't mean that it's going to give you the ability to succeed. And so I'll see players that will come to me for work or play with our teams, and they're doing something really poorly, right? So I might have a player come in and they say, I can't hit. I just can't hit it all. You know, I hit 100 this year and 100 last year, and I can't make my high school team, and I was cut from this team, and, you know, they show me their swing, and, you know, I don't know what it looks like, you know, maybe it looks like that, okay? And that feels really comfortable to them. And so once we get into the work and we start talking about different things, that is naturally going to feel uncomfortable for the player because they've never done it before. And so certain players will do it, and right away they'll say, ooh, that, that feels uncomfortable. That should be a, a light bulb going off your head. Ding, 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 ding. I'm on to something here. It felt uncomfortable. I should give myself a thumbs up for that, because that means that you're making change, and change is what you came to do. The definition of insanity is doing the same, I don't know if this is the real definition, but I've heard this, is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results. If you continue to do the wrong thing, but you think that somehow you're gonna get better results, you're crazy, it's not going to happen. So when you feel uncomfortable, you should think that that is great. That's fantastic. That's what we're looking for. When I start work, especially with a player, like I said, if I see a player come in, you know, and, and that's the swing right there, oh boy, okay, we've got a lot of work to do. And I, I start off right away with that player and I say, listen, we're going to do some stuff today that you're going to feel really uncomfortable doing. And guess what? That is a great thing. I hope that you feel that because if you do not feel that, there's no way a player who swings <laughs> like this is going to get in there and we're going to go through some drills, right? We're going to go through some drills and then all of a sudden they're going to hit a ball like that and they're going to do that. That's going to feel uncomfortable to them. Now, I hope they hit that ball and say, whoa, that was awesome. I want to keep doing that. But what happens is because the player's trying so hard, right, they're working so hard, hopefully, on doing whatever it is that I'm asking them to do, that they're focusing on their body and they're not focusing on the ball. And so chances are they might do what I'm asking them to do or come close to it, but because they're not focusing on the ball, it's probably hard to hit. And so they might take a great swing, but they might, you know, miss the ball or ooh, hit the ball right there. And because they didn't get good results, they say, ooh, that felt uncomfortable and I didn't like that result. And so what do they do? They go right back to this again, right? And so because they don't wanna feel uncomfortable 
or they take that uncomfortable feeling as, I don't want to do that. They're never going to get better. So you need to fight as hard as you can to make that uncomfortable feeling be your friend, especially when things are not going well, especially when you're trying to make changes. Now, if you are going great and you're having a season of your life and your swing is already really, really good, and then you feel uncomfortable about something, okay, well, maybe we check some video and see what's going on. But when you are struggling and you have a swing or a throwing mechanic or whatever it is that needs a lot of work, you better become best friends with that uncomfortable feeling, at least for a while. It won't always be that way. If I force you to cross your arms like this every single day for the next six months, guess what? That would start to feel pretty comfortable to you. Right? If I forced you to put your left foot in the, your pants first instead of your right, if I forced you to do it long enough, it'd feel comfortable. If I forced you to brush your teeth with your opposite hand for a long time, it would start to feel comfortable. But it is not going to feel comfortable the first time you do it. And so you need to be able to get over that uncomfortable feeling and understand that it's a process and it's going to take a while. It's, there's no silver magic bullets. Right? It's going to take time and it's going to be uncomfortable, but if you stick with the process, if you're with someone that can help you and you believe in them, you'll fight through the uncomfortable feelings and eventually you're going to be able to take swings that are great and guess what? It's going to start feeling comfortable to you. So hopefully that helps you out. Go be uncomfortable. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. I have two free hitting drills below if you want them. Just go to the comment section. I pinned the comment there, just click on the link and you'll get two free hidden drills. So go check that out. Subscribe if you have not subscribed already. We're putting up tons of videos, especially now that we have the new facility, I can film all the time. Share the video with all your friends, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly step-by-step step, how to generate power, develop bat speed and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.